I'm on my way in uh, New York City to support a film called Slime City Massacre, which is having an event, a signing of DVDs event, at a store called Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet is one of the very few genuinely independent uh, stores in New York that actually supports independent art and commerce. And if you don't have a lot of money, if you do not have a lot of money to distribute your movie, this is a way, this is one of the ways you can get the word out in an inexpensive and um, um, somewhat obviously grassroots manner. And if you want to sell your own damn movie, having a signing where you sign your own damn DVDs or your own damn books or your own damn underwear, whatever it is, uh, stores like, and they're very few and far between, stores like Forbidden Planet Store will offer you a venue, it costs nothing, and it gets publicity. It also makes money for the store. And who is this young man? Why, it's Greg Lamberson, director of Slime City Massacre. Slime City Massacre. Now, what's going to go on here tonight, Mr. Lamberson? Lloyd Kaufman is signing copies of Slime City Massacre. Now, tonight is the DVD launch of my new movie, Slime City Massacre, which we shot in 2009 here at Forbidden Planet. And uh, I'm going to be signing copies with Lloyd and Debbie Rashan and Mary Huner Bogle, who also starred in the original film. Well, I'm an independent filmmaker, and when you have an independent film, it's very important to do your own marketing. So if you want to sell your own damn movie, you have to be ready to go out and sell yourself. You have to be willing to put yourself on the line and push your movie, because we don't have the budgets that a Paramount or a Warner Brothers or a 20th Century Fox has. Uh, Media Blasters is distributing my film, and even though I'm happy with that, I still have to do a lot of the legwork, and I'm happy to do the legwork, because that's the only way people are going to know about my movie to go see it. And what else, uh, Mr. Lamberson, what else can you tell the uh, people? Making independent movies doesn't end with making the movie. You still have to sell the movie. You have to make people aware of your movie. And even if you're lucky enough to have a distributor like I do, I'm being released through uh, Media Blasters, you still have to put yourself out there selling the movie and people making aware of it. This is a rare opportunity for people to come in person, meet some of the creative people involved with the film, purchase it, and get a signed copy. Uh, I'm a novelist as well as a filmmaker, and I've been doing the horror convention scene for about eight years now. I go to these conventions not expecting to make a lot of money necessarily, but to meet people face to face so they'll associate me with my product the next time they see it. So if I go to a convention and I sell 10 DVDs or 10 books, I'm very happy if I make 10 new fans. It doesn't cost $2,000 to do a point of purchase uh, appearance. You know, maybe you have to do some travel expenses, you gotta buy yourself some McDonald's, but to go to a place like this and sit at a table for two hours and meet people face to face who are anxious to hear what you have to say is a very inexpensive way to make contact with your fan base. So let's go into Forbidden Planet Store and let's see what Greg Lamberson and the team that uh, created Slime City Massacre Part 2 are doing to sell their own damn movie in an economical and uh, grassroots fashion. These people, uh, these uh, the people who buy doggy tails are usually stoners. So. <laughs> At the same time that we can promote Slime City Massacre Part 2, can you give any suggestions to the young uh, would-be filmmakers about selling your own damn movie? What would be some ways that you could suggest? I would suggest 
that they do it themselves. But how? At this how, point. What how, some, how do they do it themselves? What are some of the ways to do it without spending money? Okay, well, I think um, seeing everything's going online, that you need to uh, get in touch with people who know how to stream and, and can stream the movie for you. Um, it's very expensive to press movies, so that if you can't afford to do that, streaming's an option, or you can uh, press them on demand, sell them through your website and just press them on demand. Well, this is one of the ways. If you can get a store that's very cool and independent and hip, um, you can do a signing and bring more awareness so people can come and buy your movie, which is one of the, the great ways to get it out there. And it gives it um, a little bit more panache and it looks better for your movie if there's an event that surrounds your movie. And there still is stores like Forbidden Planet that you can go to and um, you know, hopefully set up a signing and, and get it out there. All right, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Uh, this year is actually Forbidden Planet's 30th anniversary, uh, and we're happy to do stuff like this. Slime City, I think we were part of the original Slime City. Correct. Yeah, so uh, it's coming full circle in 30 years. Happy anniversary, Forbidden Planet. Happy 30th anniversary. Yeah! Uh,